Isaiah foretold, Listen and take note, from the farthest reaches to the nearest. Listen up, heaven and earth, for the Eternal One has spoken. The people who had been living in darkness have seen a great light. The light of life has shined on those who dwelt in the shadowy darkness of death. And you, God, will make it happen. There will be a new time, a fresh start, hope of all hopes, dream of all dreams. A child is born, a son is given to us, a living gift. His name will know in many ways. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Prince of Peace. His leadership will bring such prosperity as you've never seen before. Sustainable peace for all time. God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph, and the virgin's name was Mary. Upon entering, Gabriel greeted her. Good morning. You're beautiful with God's beauty, beautiful inside and out. God be with you. She was thoroughly shaken, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. Mary said to the angel, But how? I have never slept with a man. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hovers over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy, Son of God. Nothing, nothing you see is impossible with God. And Mary said, Yes, I see it all now. I am the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me just as you say. Then the angel left her, and Mary celebrated. About that time, Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the Roman Empire. So Joseph went from Nazareth up to Bethlehem, David's town, for the census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While in Bethlehem, Mary went into labor and gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped the baby in a blanket and laid him in a feeding trough because the inn had no room for them. Nearby shepherds were living in the fields, guarding their sheep at night. The Lord's angel stood before them. The Lord's glory shone around them, and they were terrified. The angel said, Don't be afraid. Look, I bring good news to you, wonderful, joyous news for all people. Your Savior is born today in David's city. He is Christ the Lord. This is a sign for you. You will find a newborn baby wrapped snugly and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great assembly of the heavenly forces was with the angel, praising God. They said, Glory to God in heaven, and peace on earth among those whom the Lord favors. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go right now to Bethlehem and see what's happened. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a band of scholars arrived in Jerusalem from the east. They asked around, where can we find and pay homage to the newborn king of the Jews? We observed a star in the eastern sky that signaled his birth. We're on a pilgrimage to worship him. Instructed by King Herod, they set off to Bethlehem. Then the star appeared again, the same star they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them on until it hovered over the place of the child. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. (music) 
Eight days after his birth, Jesus was circumcised in keeping with Jewish religious requirements. While fulfilling these sacred obligations at the temple, they encountered a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was a just and pious man, anticipating the liberation of Israel from her troubles. Simeon took Jesus into his arms and blessed God. He said, Now, Lord and King, you can let me, your humble servant, die in peace. You promised me that I would see with my own eyes what I'm seeing now, your freedom, raised up in the presence of all peoples. He is the light who reveals your message to the other nations, and he is the shining glory of your covenant people. In light of God's gift to you, friends, what will you give to your family? What will you give to your community? And what will you give to the world? Merry Christmas from First Presbyterian Church.